Let me let me ask you a question about so from this perspective on somebody who's in the real estate business and you talked about exper or, uh, experience breeds confidence and confidence breeds courage. As, as, let's say I'm a brand new agent or I've been in the business for three years. Maybe I've even been in the business for ten years. As a real estate agent, where should I be looking or what should I be doing? That, that can help me kind of get to that 10,000 hours of experience? I mean, is it a matter of, you know, pouring through the MLS and looking at data? Is it a matter of just, you know, making the phone calls all the time? Like, where does an, where do you think an agent really gets that experience that allows them to, to, to get to that level of courage? It's being face-to-face -face with the client. <clears throat> I have taught time management programs forever. And we did time management studies on REMAX agents and said, why do some agents make 50000 a year and why do some of them make 500000 hours a year? And so we started teaching a course and said, make a to-do list of everything you're going to do today. And they do it. And then I'd say, okay, go through and put an A, B, and a C in front of everything. Now, A's uh, uh, make you money. That's listing presentations, showing houses, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. These lead you to money, and that is like sitting on the floor time, uh, prospecting, uh, uh, passing out your business cards, and C's are necessary evils, uh, getting gas in your car, picking up the dry cleaning, all that type of thing. And I said, now go through your list, and are you going to spend 80% of your time on the A's? And people making thirty to 50000 a year spend 80% of their time on their C's and B's. Which is essentially say, okay. most of the industry, right? I mean, that, that's 95% that's that's, that's of it. Right. Yeah. And you know what you do? You do the C's first because they're easy and you can check them off. Oh, i got to go get my car gassed up. I need to go cash a check. Oh, um, so you just mark through all the C's. You get through the day. You weren't in front of a customer one minute. You didn't get paid. You only get paid for A's. Once you can... Once you can put your mind into a focus mode and you start figuring out uh, how much money do you make uh, when you're face-to-face -face with clients. That's your entire income that you make. That's the only place you make money is talking to another warm, living, breathing, non-realtor human being. Once you figure out that uh, you make your entire income on the hours you spend with clients, Divide that number of hours, which is usually 20% of your time, and when you look at the C's and B's, you make nothing. You want to make more money, find a way to spend 30% of your time with clients instead of 20 or 40%. Every week of your life in the real estate business, you ought to figure out how do I get in front of possible buyers and sellers. That's the only thing that counts. Sales meetings, absolutely worthless. Sorry. <laughs> They really are. This is a sales meeting, by the way. Okay? So, you know, nobody's making any money right now. You're all listening to us talk. Somebody else is out there showing houses, for crying out loud. So, no, but in reality, do you, do you understand right. what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There are necessary evils. And if, you, if you go to a training program, what are you doing? You're learning how to sharpen your knife so you can chop things down faster. And so, sure, training is important. That's a C. But you've got to have some training. If you're going to figure out how to do REOs, you better get a CDPE or something. But, you know, it's focus. How do you focus and put more hours day to day into the A's? And how do you delegate or throw away or put off the B's and C's as much as you can?